Hi, Ella. Hello. You started singing when you were three years old. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you still recall it, or did someone else told you? Do I what? Sorry. Do you still recall it when you started singing, or or, or did someone tell you, maybe your your grandfather or your father, that you started singing age age oh. three? Um, no, we have it on record somewhere. I think there's like a home video of me when I was really little singing. Um, can you remember the Annie musical? Annie, um, I used to sing Tomorrow around the house going, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, that was my first words. I, they were singing words, not, yeah. not talking. <laughs> so I've always, I've always sang, yeah. And when did you well, start uh, making music yourself? I mean, learning the piano. What, what, what made you? decide to learn the piano? Um, there was always a piano around the house uh, growing up so I guess I was the last child out of all my family. I've got other brothers and sisters so I guess one of us had to use it eventually so yeah. that one was me. Um, but I think music definitely came a lot from my grandfather. Um, I used to stay there a lot during the week and when I was there he would play old records on his jazz record player and really old classics from like the Rat Pack to Ella Fitzgerald and old jazz music mainly and I can remember that warm crackly sound and I used to just love the sound of the music and uh, it was since then really it just kind of hit me I, I, I just loved you know it always like just took me somewhere else I'd always go in my own little world when I listened to music um, and it always has you know it doesn't matter what kind of music either I love all types because growing up I was surrounded yeah. by different types of music like you know, if I was with my mum, it'd be Motown, my dad, it'd be 80s music, and my brothers and sisters would listen to all kinds of music. So growing up, I never was really into one thing. It was kind of like, I just, I loved everything, but I knew that this was something that, you know, I was going to do one day, whether it meant I was going to write, whether it meant I was working in a studio or somehow on a stage or, you know, it, it, I just had to have something to do with it. You said, well, your grandfather, he played you songs from the Red Pack and stuff like that. Is, is there a certain song when you hear that that reminds you of well, being over there? One specific song yeah. maybe? Or? The first record I ever listened to um, was Billie Holiday, uh, God Bless the Child. And that's probably my first memory of music, It's listening to that song at his house. And I was sat on the ledge and he was cooking me breakfast and that yeah. was playing on the old jazz record player. And yeah, I think that was probably my first song. And what does it what does it tell you? I mean, um, her her sound and her singing. What 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 made it so special for you? I think it takes you back to a place where you felt so at home, and you felt comfortable. And I don't know that if I was to listen to that song now, I think instantly of me being a little girl with my granddad, who I loved and adored, and I feel safe. And. Uh, that's what I love about my music, you know, when I go to write at a piano, it's very much like I'm, I'm in my own world, my own bubble, nobody can come and get me, I yeah. get to say what I want, I get to express what I want, and it's like my little diary, and uh, you're safe within it, and you can write about whatever you want, and yeah. <laughs> um, well, you said there was a piano around the house? Mm. Um, Whose piano was it and why was it in the house? <laughs> My mum just got a baby grand piano. It was a really old one. Um, and she got it, I think, once on an auction somewhere. And because she's always loved, she, she loved it as a piece of furniture in the house. So it was always in the living room. And uh, my brother used to try and play it uh, when he was little, but never carried it on. And then I sat at it from like the age of three and um, I don't know, I just taught myself melodies and then I eventually learnt the notes. Then by the time I was about 10, 11, I started teaching myself chords. And I also used to love, love writing poetry and writing poems at school and stuff. So it kind of became this thing where all of a sudden I would put the two and two together. And I guess that is songwriting. I was writing lyrics to, you know, the music I was writing on a piano. Um, yeah. What was the first song that you actually glued together, your poetry and your own? Uh... It was a song, so I went away to a college, um, a performing college from the age of 12, 11, 12, um, and I got a scholarship there. Yeah. And when I was away there in the music rooms, um, I would write for all the time in my spare time and hit the pianos and stuff. And when 
I wrote my very first song that I remember properly. It was um, about me missing home and I was homesick and missing my dad and no one was coming to visit me and stuff. And uh, it, was, it was called My Papa and I, I remember it very well. <laughs> and did you send it to him? I did, yeah. <laughs> what, what did he tell you? Uh, he loved that I'd written a song, but at the same time it wasn't very nice about him because it yeah. said that <laughs> he wasn't coming to visit me and stuff. Um, which was funny because now he's like around me all the time. So, um, no, yeah. I think, you know, my family have always been so supportive and so proud of me, but I think they only just realised how serious I wanted this when I went away to school because, you know, I sacrificed being with my family and growing yeah. up around home to be around music and to be around, you know, a, a piano, or some people who love singing and people who have the same ambition as you. How hard was it those four years? It was really hard. I think the first few years I absolutely loved it. I was in my element and, you know, I, I lived and breathed it. And then when I hit the age of about 15, 16, that's when I, I sort of became frustrated because um, I was still doing my grades and still doing academics and I wanted to kind of just commit to music, but of course my parents wouldn't let me do that. And uh, I'm so thankful that they did make me get my grades because, you know, it's, it's an important thing to have your backup plan. But my point always was, you know, I, I, I would always do music. It doesn't matter whether, you know, I could be earning so much money in a year and working in an office. I will never do that. I'd rather, you know, be poor and just sing somewhere why, on the why, street. Why, why, Because it's what makes me happy. Yeah? It's the only thing that... Um, when I am writing or if I'm on a stage, they're the two places where it's like no one, no one can top it. And I, I can't even explain that. You can't, you can't even put it into words. It's, it's like being able to say that I do it, my job is something that I love. And of course there's hard parts to it. There's the parts where it's tiring and it's long days and there are the days where you've got to go through so much and meet new people, but it's exciting. But um, those parts where the highlights are when you get up on a stage and you get to let people smile or let people hear something or the way I write is very open and very, um, you know, I do treat it like my diary and it's, it's, it's kind of, I just wanted to be honest with this album and I think when I sing and I can feel that people engage with it and they relate to it, you know that you're not the only one experiencing a certain situation.